Noise insulation of the hood. Many people believe that hood soundproofing is only done to reduce engine noise. It's not like that at all. Noise insulation of the hood is done in order to reduce the level of vibrations that are transmitted to the front pillars, to the glass, and thus reduce the overall noise level in a car. I mean, this is vibration not from the engine, but from the car as a whole, which is transmitted through these elements holding the hood and the areas where it comes into contact with the body. Why it happens? Because the hood itself vibrates very strongly when driving. This is a large sheet of metal located at the very front of the car, and at the same time it is fastened only in three points. Therefore, movement of a car makes the whole hood vibrate. This vibration is transmitted further to the body, and we begin to hear it inside the car. In order to reduce this vibration, we add vibration-absorbing material to these flat elements. These are the so-called hood windows. We do it here, here, and here. We do not touch areas with double metal, because they are more difficult to treat, and the effectiveness of this work is lower here. Therefore, we process only these flat areas, and let's do it now with the help of STP Aero. So, we applied STP Aero on the hood and leveled everything with a roller. The material is installed in its place and will work perfectly here. I would also like to mention this simple tool. This is a plastic spatula of sorts, which is ideal for tucking the material under edges and smoothing it out when we deal with such inconvenient windows. It will be difficult to use a roller here while such a tool make it very easy. So, we just tuck the edges of the material in each window, and the job is done. Noise insulation of the trunk lid, also called the tailgate. This is how it looks disassembled. The lid can be plastic or metal. In this case, we have metal one which we can get from specific sound. Here we have the following task. To slightly reduce the noise level from this area, while treating it with a minimum amount of vibration-absorbing material, since any additional weight to this structure will affect the speed of opening after noise insulation, the operation of these mechanisms, and the speed of lowering. So, you need to use the lightest, but at the same time the most effective material. For this task we chose STP Aero. It is also important to treat the trunk lid skin. Here it is, a rather big element. In this case, there is no standard noise insulation on it. 
There is a huge amount of clips like this that break very easily when removing the lid. They will have to be replaced. Onto this lid, we will mount Biplast Premium 15A Armor. After we did noise insulation of the tailgate, glued everything as much as possible, so that it all would then lift, open, and work normally. This treatment allows you to reduce vibration from this element and slightly cut down overall noise level. Obviously, the area is small, and we won't achieve any kind of super effect, but we did as much as we could here, and now there will be less noise from the trucklet. We also treated the trunk skin. Here we installed Biplast Premium 15A armor. The clips will have to be replaced. After adding the clips, we'll be ready to assemble. That's about it for our unit on noise insulation of the trunk lid. Thank you.